All right, so this is a video just to explain what a vector projection is. No calculations in this one, just explain a fairly complicated um, topic that people really sort of struggle with at times. All right, so let's uh, jump into it. We need a picture. So here are my two vectors, A and B. Now I'm gonna do a vector projection. That means I'm gonna project one vector onto another vector. And for that, I'm gonna need a torch. Now there's my torch, and my torch is going to cast light in this direction. Now, it's going to, the light's going to go that way and hit vector A, the light's going to go that way and hit vector A, the light's going to go that way, the light's going to go that way and just pass by vector A. Now, that torch is making a right angle with vector B, so it's perpendicular to vector B, which means that we get this nice little uh, right angle here. This is shadow. And this is light. Now, the vector projection of A onto B is the shadow. So this is vector U. And I can call vector U the vector projection of A onto B. The vector projection of A onto B. So we're projecting A onto B. We can also say it's the vector projection of A in the direction of B. We can also say that it is the scalar resolution resolute of A in the direction of B. So, make no mistake, it is a vector. That is vector U. You can see a couple of things. In this particular instance, or I'm going to say in all instances, um, it's going to be smaller than vector A here, the shadow. Um, now, we can say that there is this vector here, u, which is the vector projection of a onto b. And then there's also this other vector here, which doesn't have a fancy name. Um, but if we were to add the vector projection of a onto b, and then this other vector on here, we would actually get vector a. So uh, something useful that we can do with vector projections or the vector resolute is take a particular vector a, and break it up into component parts, not in terms of like I and J like that, but in terms of vector B and perpendicular to vector B. So that's sort of a useful thing to talk about when it comes to vector projections. Um, now, of course, I've been projecting A onto B, but I could also put a torch somewhere else and do go the opposite way. So here's another torch that I've drawn, and that torch is perpendicular to A. So if I were to draw that torch, you can see that the light hits that, the light hits that, and then the light passes by vector B in this direction here. I uh, just need to be a bit careful here that I'm, I'm working at a right angle. Okay, so that light is passing through here, and it's hitting all of vector A's in shadow, but so is a little bit of this extra bit here. So I'm going to draw that a different color, maybe vector in blue. All the way from there to there, let's call it vector V. Whoa, that's a funky color. That's B onto A. B onto A. So we can do vector projections in two ways. We can push our light this way and do a vector projection of A onto B. Or we can move this way, which is a vector projection of B onto A. Uh, in both cases, what we're finding is the shadow of the vector uh, placed onto the, the new vector. And it'll allow us to do that funky thing I talked about earlier, breaking it up into components. One in the direction of a vector, the other in, if I uh, were to draw this, I've got that one. Um, actually, let's leave it there. All right, another video, we're going to talk about how to actually figure out the vector projection.